all right welcome to my channel in this video i want to show you how to connect your Tekken smart plug to a new wi-fi so here's my Tekken smart plug right here and you can also see it here on the app the smart life app so to change the wi-fi what you need to do is to reset the plug it's going to remove it from the app so you can set it up again and connect to a new wi-fi so this is how to change the wi-fi on your Tekken smart plug you cannot do it within the app so let's go ahead and do this. Press and hold the power button here for about five seconds to reset it. Keep holding. Keep holding. And that's it, five seconds. So the reset is complete and you can see the indicator blinking, meaning the plug is reset and is now in pairing mode. And you can see the plug has been removed from the app. So let's go ahead and set it up again. But first, you need to head over to your Wi-Fi settings and make sure your phone is connected to your new Wi-Fi. So right here, and make sure you're connected to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So the next step is to go back to the Smart Life app. So right here, and now tap Add Device, select Socket Wi-Fi. Now you need to enter your Wi-Fi password. In my case, my password is already here. So tap Next, tap Next again. Tap next. So confirm the indicator is blinking. So it's blinking. Tap next. So now you want to check if the indicator is blinking quickly or slowly. So it's blinking quickly. Tap blink quickly. So now we need to wait a few seconds. It's connecting to the new Wi Fi. So that's it, the setup is complete. The smart plug has been added, so it's connected to the new Wi-Fi. So you can rename your device here, tap finish, tap done. So you can now control your smart plug through the app. So that's how it works. That's how to change the Wi-Fi on your Tekken smart plug. Another way to go about this is to rename your new Wi-Fi to match your old Wi-Fi. You want to change your new Wi-Fi's SSID and the password to match your old one. And once you turn off your old Wi-Fi, your plug might just connect to your new Wi-Fi. So that's it, but this doesn't work all the time. So the most efficient way to go about this is to reset your smart plug and then set it up again and connect to the new Wi-Fi. So that's how it works. I hope this video was helpful. And if so, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.